So why is it so important to teach this to your puppy? Because this skill is what gives us ultimate control over our future protection dogs. Also, without this skill, a protection dog will not be in the elite category. So this exercise separates average, normal protection dogs from elite caliber protection dogs. few things your puppy will need to know or your dog before teaching the backwards healing. So here I'm gonna give you sequences and steps that should be taken before teaching this backward walking. I mean, good. <laughs> yes. Front. Finish. Front. Finish. Front. Finish. Front. Front. Finish. Front. Finish. Yes. Good. Front. Front. Finish. 
front. Finish. Yes. Good. Front. Ready? Cuts. Seats. Yes. Cuts. Seats. Here. Yes. Finish. Front. Yes. Finish. Yes. Front. Yes. Finish. Yes. Good. Finish. Good. Front. Yes. Finish. Front. Yes. Finish. Yes. Nice. So combining heel with the finish command. Finish. Yes, good. Both being done on the same side, we create an obsession. And this is very important for total control, especially when you are putting aggression on a protection dog. Okay, so having those two together and having that obsessive state allows us to be able to control a dog while they're in aggression and checked out mentally a little bit, <laughs> gives us the override to those emotions so that we have total control over that mind no matter what state the dog is in. So here, these next clips, watch how each sequence, each clip, the beginning of it, that the puppy goes and finds that left leg and never makes a mistake and goes to the right leg. And scoots without being told most of the time, here the puppy's gonna scoot back and find the leg, even though it's barking at the toy and wants it so badly. <laughs> This puppy is absolutely crazy and a lunatic over bite work and toys. So this puppy would not be an easy puppy for most people to control. Okay, it has big drive, big genetics from top world class working dogs. So this puppy's got the goods. So it's not as easy as it looks to control this puppy, but through technique, that's what we're getting. So again, just watch how she goes backwards and finds the proper side, number one. Most of the time coming in there by herself and finding the leg, knowing the game is gonna start, and that everything comes from here not to run out and go grab things on her terms. Very important. And that's why in my system, I don't teach in the beginning shooting off and going to get their objects. Okay? So 
making more emphasis on this is the good spot. So here, these clips, just watch how in the beginning of each one, she shuffles herself in there. And also, this is only her second day of doing this complex exercise, right? And I mean, she's doing phenomenal. Five months old, only second time doing backwards walking. And in snow. <laughs> I mean, so second time, five months old, in snow, barking and frustrated over wanting that toy. You have all these elements together and this is how well she's doing and how well her owner, Michael, has really honed in the concept on her of that heel and finish to get this that well at five months old and only her second time ever doing this ex exercise. I mean, phenomenal. And in snow that she's got to hop and jump and try to find the leg. Uh, Piss off. All right, and here, I can't even tell you how complicated it is. <laughs> what she's doing here and jumping in the snow sideways, which is the hardest to do, right? And bouncing up and down in that snow, constantly trying her best to go find that leg going sideways. That is the hardest thing to do, go sideways and stay with the leg. And she's doing it five months old and in deep snow for her. <laughs> and hopping frantically, trying to stay with that leg game. Uh, piss off. I mean, so phenomenal, and in a few sessions more, she'll be really, really good. I mean, this is really good. 
right? For a puppy, baby, five months old, only second time in snow. I mean, phenomenal. So a few more classes, she's gonna be elite level at this. So for you guys out there, if you don't just want an average, out of control protection dog, this is the exercise I always harp on, emphasize when I sell my protection dogs, that skill itself raises the level of those dogs and those prices big time because they have that level of control that most protection dogs do not have in the world. So this skill and exercise separates an average protection dog to an elite level protection dog. So till next time, I'm Richard Hines, Miami Dog Whisperer.